Lakers. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern with NBA Countdown, Jalen Rose, Jay Williams, and Maria Taylor. Speaking of the NBA, LeBron has been lauded in the past for having a voice on social justice issues, but protesters said James Commons presented a double standard because he's used his clout to press for social causes in the United States, and now it seems he's more worried about money than people. Stephen A., we were discussing how bad of a look this is for LeBron James. I want you to pick it up. Here's what I want to say, and I want to say this to all three of y'all, and I just want you to hear me out here because I'm not disagreeing or challenging any points that y'all made. I just want to make sure this gets out, disseminated to the masses. Number one, when you are a black man and you are a public figure, more often than not, even with issues that don't pertain to you, the more significant your voice is, the more you resonate, the more our community calls on us to speak out. For example, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and others were not sports-related issues. But I'll be damned if people weren't stopping me on the street from my community stating, you need to say something mm -hmm. about that. Now, that doesn't mean that I have to march lockstep for my community because one of the things that I think black people in positions of, 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 of you know, in the, in the public eye that have a voice need to be reminded of is that we don't speak for all black people. Jay and I are brothers, but guess what? Jay has different opinions than I do. Jalen has different opinions than I do, etc. We're not one monolithic group where you hear from one of us, and that means you've heard from all of us. Of I think LeBron James needed to be reminded of that, number one. Number two, if you want to knock LeBron for anything, and I don't think he deserves to be knocked, I'm here to say this, I would like to remind LeBron James that you did speak out against Trump. Now, understand what that means. When you're willing to tackle these issues, even though you've got millions who support you and echo your sentiments, there are millions who didn't. And so as a result of that, those same folks are the ones that were clamoring for you to speak about China because they were looking for the consistency as opposed to the hypocrisy. He has to be careful about that moving forward. Number three, I work for ESPN. And let me tell y'all something right now. That means we work for Walt Disney. Last time I checked, we do business in Hong Kong. Last time I checked, we do business in Shanghai, and I'll be damned if I'm going to apologize for shutting my damn mouth and leaving the voice of ESPN to Jimmy Pitaro, Connor Shell, uh, uh, Bob Iger. I'll be damned if I'm going to apologize for that. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, they, they, let me, let me to, 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 tell, to, to call myself a sellout, let me tell you what selling out is. If Bob Iger and Jimmy Pitaro and said, Stephen, leave this to us a handle, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it to them to handle. Now, that's a geopolitical issue. We're talking about something that directly affects me as a black man, my community. That's an entirely different ballgame. Mm -hmm. But something that far expansive, there are lanes to this. And people out there who are critical of folks want to act like they don't know those lanes when they damn well know there's lanes because it's with their employees. And my last point, Adam Silver, we must respect this man and his greatness as a commissioner. But we have to be honest that his initial comments were not his shining moment. When he came back and articulated more expansively on what he had to say, he shined. But his initial comments, you understand, where he wasn't, he didn't seem to be taking sides mm -hmm. because China was canceling games and refusing to air stuff on CCTV. You're talking and about stuff the, like that. the original statement that, that, that the original, was translated that's right. Mandarin. That's right, yes. right? What I'm saying is some people were saying, had that been David Stern, to your point, he'd have said, this is who we are. This is how we do business. This might have been a mistake, but let's not act like this is supposed to affect our business. And that would have been that. Whereas Adam, obviously uh, a bit more diplomatic, at least in this particular instance, there were people who were comparing the two commissioners, mm -hmm. the former and well, the present. I don't know That's how much saying. better you could have handled it than Adam Silver, even if you didn't like I'm his not, initial I'm comments. Not, he, I'm not questioning it. I'm he's saying, trying to preserve a business I'm, I'm, relationship I'm, 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 and stand up I'm for the right. I'm only saying you and hard. I both know there were people right. questioning them. That's sure. all I mean. This I'm is, not questioning as them. As I said, I we, no share, problem we with share interests, not values with China. And and this comes up from time to time, and it was bound to happen, I think. I, first of all, what you said last segment, I think LeBron could stand up and simply say, this is what I'm going to say about that without getting into details. We have a lot of business together. I don't want to offend anybody here um, in a way that will affect the business. I have to be honest about it. But I will say this, and you can take it however you want. I stand for freedom and equality. I always am I'm for freedom and equality. And if the Chinese government doesn't like that and have to come out and say, LeBron James said he's for freedom and equality, and now we're going to cancel business, then that's on them. And I don't think they would. Um, that's one. Two, 
The reason LeBron James can go at Trump in this country is because we allow for dissent. The Chinese government does not. Um, that's why you love being an American, because you have the freedom of speech, um, among other freedoms, but it's our most important one. And when uh, Bomani brought this up on the air the other day, um, that you, when we export basketball, mm -hmm. we have to be, you know, we're importing authoritarianism in a way, right? Because the trade-off is, wait, if you want to do business, you have to be careful what you say, even here in the United States of America, because you don't want to offend your business partners. Well, that, to go to what you said, if the executives say, hey, leave this alone, yes, that's one thing, then we wouldn't do it as a topic. But if we're going to do it as a topic, then you can't follow a directive where you simply say, bad Daryl Morey, because that's actually empowering authoritarianism, and it's not true. I don't think it's true that it's just bad Daryl Morey. I think Daryl Morey tweeted out a good sentiment. The timing wasn't great. It calls into question whether we should be over in China in the first place. There are arguments, by the way, to do business in China, I understand, but it does bring that question to light. Go ahead. I agree. No, th this, is, um, this is not just business. This is politics, and politics is intellectual warfare, where we parse every sentence that you say, every word that you say. And my advice to any young athlete out there is if you're going to speak on international issues or national issues, you have to make sure that tactically that the vernacular in which you speak is on point. It has to be on point. So I would agree with you with the way he handled I think that's a, I understand that he was, LeBron at that time was trying to air more grievances about the double standard within the league, about if an athlete had said this. I don't think the timing of that was correct at that given time. I do think that if you had 11 days, you should have kind of came up or ideated on what the right statement should have been instead of talking off the cuff, which he's been able to do when it comes to U.S. political Here, things because he understands it. Plan, though. It, it I, did, I, but it felt like it was it wasn't. When you engage in that, yeah. it, it, you, you have to think thoroughly through exactly everything you Let me ask you guys all this. I want to ask you this through Stephen A. Because I feel like LeBron, you would think he's built up enough equity of respect at this point. But do you think now moving forward, everybody is going to question his sincerity and his motive? I do not. I, I, I think they will, but I think it's grossly unfair. Agreed. And the reason why I think it's grossly unfair is that, listen, we all know I can be critical of LeBron James from time to time. But I respect the hell out of this brother. I love what he's represent and what he has personified, and he deserves better than this. Similar uh, in, in a lot of ways to how folks turned on Jay-Z when Jay-Z did his press conference mm -hmm. with the NFL. It's like, my God, wait a minute. How do you go from loving and appreciating not just the greatness, but the conscientious perspective that these guys bring to an equation for years, and then one thing makes you say, all of that gets eradicated. That's something that happens to us, as far as I'm concerned, far more than it happens to any other race of people, and it really bothers no, me. Okay, can, let me can, can I ask you a question, Max? Mm -hmm. So if LeBron had came out and said what you needed him to say, what does that do? It certainly doesn't kowtow to the Chinese I, government. I hear it, the, the, the but, optics of it, I hear yeah, you, but no, overall, no, but it's if he makes a statement, it's an then what it's happens an important after that? It's message to send that whatever our business but, is, but I always, stand up for, for ideals of, of, of freedom and equality and justice, even if, they're, even if an authoritarian government halfway across the world doesn't like it, that's too bad. I don't need Max. to get into the specifics of Hong Kong, but I got, wait, wait, hold on. I want to say something. Go ahead and say it, but I have a quick question for you before the segment ends. Please I am go. not calling LeBron a sellout. I understand. I don't think you're a sellout for saying what you said. I think we all have, most of us have a price and, and some are higher and lower than mm -hmm. others, right? Mm -hmm. And most of us have sold out a principle mm -hmm. at, at some point in our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. I do not think that means you, as they say, throw out the baby with the bathwater. I think it gets weighed in balance. And do I think that LeBron, the good he has done, mm -hmm. outweighs the fact that he equivocated here? Yes, I do. Max, uh, but I'm going to call it what, I, what it is. Hey, listen, first of all, this first take, you don't have to apologize for calling it like you see it. That's mm -hmm. how you see it. That's how the hell you see it. I'll back you 1,000% on that. I know you don't will. Don't worry about that. But here's the thing, and i close this segment by asking you this question. You can answer it too, but especially you. Based on what you're saying, Max, you are a conscientious white individual that comes on this air and intelligently articulates your position about what has travailed our society for centuries, right? What are we to think about all of those white folks that don't say anything about racism?
Oh. That doesn't say anything. I'm not talking about you now. Another no, 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 I'm not talking about no, you. No, I want, I, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying, based on what you're saying, in terms of what LeBron James could have done as I it pertains an to China, what are we supposed to think about the multitude of white individuals in this country who have never said no and continue to be silent a, on issues permeating disenfranchised communities? That's a very good question. Do you know what Martin Luther King had to say about that? Mm -hmm. In the end... We will not remember the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Of course, of, that is a very good point. No, people should speak up where they see injustice. By the way, the cost at which they do that varies. Muhammad Ali was willing to risk five years in prison in the, in the yep, middle of his no, prime. Yeah. Not everyone's Muhammad Ali, and that includes LeBron James. Last word. No, no I agree with you. I, I, I just find it interesting that LeBron James has done a ton of good. I think this was a blunder in his part, but I would never call LeBron James. Never. I know you're not calling him a sellout. I think it's the action never, was the referred action to would not, selling it. It's, yeah. You're put in a bigger situation that LeBron James has never been in that scenario before. Mm -hmm. He's, he's like, done He didn't handle much. it correctly, he's a, he didn't but like, I'm not going to take back. But he's done quick, too, he's done too much. That he's he's done too much, one and he's been too good for us to sit up and, and come and at real, him this way. This story is not over. LeBron, Like Adam Silver, LeBron has time to do better. In this situation, right, we wanted to pull the public. I call them our first take fam. If we should view mm. LeBron differently, mm. and everybody was split 50 50. Wow. Said some saying and yes, they should be, and they should be, they no. should be ashamed of themselves. If I was LeBron James, he literally would be justified saying, The hell with all of y'all. Don't talk to me about nothing but basketball. Well, you know what? You know what? It right. ain't right. Everybody weaponizes it's not, it's, it's, it now. It's, now it's, 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 it's not it right. Politicized. It's not right. He shouldn't be treated that way. You, you get Let's leave it there. Appreciate I, I the discussion, guys. Jalen Hurts and Tua have been battling for the title best quarterback all season, but will another star steal the Heisman from both? Paul Feinbaum joins us next. 